Welcome to Electrocute, where we share with you some of our favorite wearable technologies and products. I'm Bia, Sparkfun's textile specialist. And I'm Nick, creative technologist. And today, we'd like to share another product from the 21st Century Fashion Kit, Thermochromatic Pigment. This powdered pigment turns transparent when you heat it up. It's the same thing that enables coffee mugs and cereal bowls to change color when they're exposed to a warm or a hot liquid. It's also responsible for the crime against fashion that was hypercolor. In this powdered form, you've got the ability to make nearly anything change colors. The pigment combines well with acrylic medium, conformal coatings, paints, sugru, even nail polish. There are a variety of ways to activate the color change. We sell a heating fabric, which will do the trick, albeit slowly and in a strange pattern. You can also run current through conductive thread to heat it up. What we've realized in playing with this pigment is that it's really easy to heat a project up, uh, but it's hard to get it to cool back down quickly, so you can't make really fast on and off transitions. We've attempted to fix that problem with the dangerous box. It's a pretty bad idea, and we think you're going to like it. Let's take a look at the parts. We have a 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery, a three pole double throw switch, and a TEC or thermoelectric cooler, also known as a Peltier cooler. And that's really the key to making this project work. When you apply voltage, one side of the cooler is going to get cold and the other side is going to get hot. If you reverse the voltage, the sides will switch. The hot side will get cold and the cold side will get hot. What we've done in our project is to connect the battery directly to the switch and then connect the switch directly to the Peltier cooler. Now, a good project would use a microcontroller and a transistor to regulate the power and probably a heat sink to manage all of the excess heat built up in the thermoelectric cooler. But the wheels are completely off this wagon. Originally, we wanted it to be a lapel pin, but that wasn't really in the cards. The only part of this project that isn't going to hurt anyone is probably the cardboard box, and that's assuming it's not on fire, which isn't a sure thing. Anyway, let's have a look. We painted our thermoelectric cooler with a design in regular red acrylic paint and black marker, then painted over part of it with blue pigment mixed into clear medium. This means that when we turn the switch one way to heat it up, the top layer with the pigment will become transparent leaving only the design painted on with regular materials. When we flip the switch the other way, the hot side will become cold, thus making the pigment opaque again and obscuring our design. The dangerous box is such a bad idea that we didn't even write a tutorial for it. In this case, a tutorial is more of a liability generator. We do have a tutorial linked below, though, written by Diana Ng, our collaborator on this kit. She demonstrates how to make a design that appears and disappears using conductive thread. If you have any questions about this product or want to know whether we've burned the building down yet or just want to suggest a product that you think we should feature in future videos, leave a comment and we'll try to get to all of those things either in the comment section or in the next video. Thanks for watching.